Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Hmm? Lenovo ThinkPad i7 7 Gen. Fingerprint, pressing the power button, nothing happened. It's T470, that's the model. And uh, it's a little bit old, has the yellow pin charger. Uh, let me grab a charger and test it. Okay, so got the charger, plug in the charger. We have 19 volts and it's going to 2 volts. Check there. <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect job for a Monday. I swear it's a perfect job for a Monday. So plug in the charger and the voltage gets dropped to 2 volts. That means the motherboard is shorted. This is a nice job. Can be a MOSFET? Probably not. Yeah, this is a, you know, low power uh, charger. Okay, so the laptop is open, no hard drive inside, for the hard drive it's on the motherboard, no we don't know that, no RAM memory, okay, so what is the problem, let's check the main power rail, hopefully this it will be an easy job, and the main power rail is not shorted. Check here, nothing. Main power rail, no shorted. Okay. This is kind of unique. So plug in the charger. And it is short, and you can see it's like 2 volts. But if I check the main power rail, it's not shorted. So where is the short then? At the charging port? Do you think it's a dodgy charging port? No, it's not. I mean, it's not even damaged. Check there. But let's try something else here. Let's unplug the charger, the charging port. Let's come with the power supply. Minus plus and it is shorted it is shorted I don't get it do you think actually this laptop has a uh, has a power supply which is creating the main power rail because that can make sense so the main power rail is not shorted, but on the input of the MOSFET it is short. Let's check something together, yeah? So the main power rail, one more time, this is plus, this is minus, okay, this is not shorted. Here is not short, not short. So where is the short then? I believe we have to take the motherboard out because I can't see like uh, the MOSFETs, I can't see them here and I don't understand the fold if the main power is not shorted, what is shorted then? No, the short is not here because even with the power supply with big wires which has a very low resistance i still have one point something volts so the short is not here near to the charging port with the connector indeed here i have some resistance on the wire so check there i have like 1.1 volts you can see 1.2 volts but if i plug here i have uh, 1.9 volts you can see on the on the power supply which is kind of weird, kind of weird. Let's take the motherboard out. Okay, so the motherboard is out. And I can't see anything. So the charging port is here. 
And the charging board also, we have a fuse. Check that, check that. I mean, the fuse didn't get burned. Okay, I lower the voltage on the, on the power supply. And it's taking one amp. Let's raise the voltage. Yeah, 1.2 amps. Here we have a fuse, then we have first MOSFET, second MOSFET. After the second MOSFET, we have still short. But where this track is going? It's going here. Here is no short. This one it is short. And it's going here. And here you have a bunch of MOSFETs and a fuse again. Here is no short. Here is no short. You know what I'm confused. I, I, I'm not. I, I can't find what is what is, what is the problem here. Let me take the thermal camera. Let's see. What is that? Check there. What is that? Huh? What is that? That's a capacitor. I can't believe. Actually, it's a capacitor. You know what? It's not even looking dodgy. You can see. So the bottom one is gone. This one. You can't even see it's damaged. So the capacitor is removed. Do we still have short? Let's see, power supply. No, it's not short. Check here. On the fuse, yeah? Exactly on the fuse. It's not short. What a dodgy capacitor. But anyway, the schematic is weird on this board. I mean, clearly, this capacitor, it's on the power, which is coming to the board after those two MOSFETs, but have nothing to do with the main power rail, which is very strange. So I'm assuming probably this one is the power supply which is creating the main power rail, but not sure about that. Anyway, we found the problem. Let's test it. Okay, let's plug the charger. Let me switch to 19. Yeah, plug in the charger. And it's taking 400 milliamps and the fan is spinning, but we don't have RAM memory. Let me plug our RAM memory. Now we have RAM memory. Pressing the power button, which is here. And the laptop is not coming on. Okay, why? Why is it not coming on? I just plug a RAM memory. You think it's because of the RAM memory? No, even without the RAM memory, it's not working. Okay, take my words back. It's not a nice job for a Monday. Let's see, the main power rail, 12.5. Check there, 12.5 volts. So exactly what I told you, exactly what I told you. 19 is coming here and has a power supply, which is... No, it's not this one. I 
I don't know which power supply it is. Probably here. Yeah, here probably. No. So why is not working? Okay, got it. I got it because the power button is on this ribbon cable. Yeah, now it makes sense. Good. Let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. Can we have picture? Mm -hmm. Come on. It's restarting, it go, goes to zero, and it's coming back on. It's good. It's good, just waiting for the picture. It's going back to zero. I mean, hopefully it's not looping. Hopefully it will come on. We have picture. It was no looping. It was loading the BIOS. Ha! <laughs> Can't believe actually it was only that capacitor. Dodgy capacitors. Yeah, it's working. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Lol. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, have a beautiful week. Yeah, bye.